Okay, so we're up and running. Um, if you can set your starting position by hand where you want your keys to start, starting from there, looking at you, whatever it is you want to do. I'm not turning on lights now because my lighting studio is not great, but if you wanted to, you can run all the LED tests and check if everything is working okay. I'll let them finish running. At the moment, there's no point running separate LED tests because they're all running the same thing. Um, all the lights are in one LED array. Once the box is built, the LEDs will be on the front hand side, the left hand side, the right hand side, and the top, in which case it would make quite a significant difference. Right, so anyway, I'm going to leave it with none running. I'm going to pick 360 degrees, 20 images. Uh, just set my start looking at it nicely. Set 32 images actually. And go start. The program will run for 360 degrees and take 32 photos. Alright, so while it starts doing that, um, had I selected a lighting option, which would be left plus right, top plus bottom, left plus right plus top, left plus right plus back, I don't know, whatever they will be once the box is built, um, it will turn the lights on. So what's happening now is you can see that it's grabbing the images, it's dumping them into image capture, which is under my pictures in the PC. Uh, pictures, it's dumping them in there. All right. As they grow. Now on your website, these two folders I'm about to paste into here. That's all. Sorry about that. On the website, these two folders, the CSS and JS folders, are part of your website code and shouldn't be in this folder, but for testing purposes I'm putting them in here. But once you write a website, you upload the CSS and the JS folder for this index file to permanently on your website and they just index this image location. So I've removed them from the code, they're no longer in the code and pasting them in here because it breaks some people's websites. So again, if you have JavaScript and the CSS code, you put these in your main page and the index file will reference them. I'll show you in a minute how that works. So let's finish capturing the images. Where are we at? 21 or 32. I could get it to run a little bit faster, but I'm worried that there'll be stepper loss because these are it's a fairly robust stepper loss. I don't know. I err on the side of caution. I do like that little 3D printed vendor of mine, printed on the B9. He's mine trusty photo studio mate at the moment. Of course once this is done, the mechanics will all be going into a proper light box. You won't have a grey setters putty base um, with proper lighting and the camera will have a macro lens on it for shooting jewelry. Alright, last image coming up. Program has Rotate completed. Reset to zero degrees and lights off. Okay, it looks like it's doing nothing, we're setting to 360, but you may have been 180 or 135 or whatever you selected. Alright, so what happens is we now have all these images dumped inside here with the index file. When you run the index file, you now have an image that rotates from your mouse through it and it carries on rolling. So you, ro you rotate never ending. So as a user comes into your website, they can have a scrounge through your images. All right, so let's have a look at, let's examine this to here properties. It's 1.3 meg. All right, if you look at the quality of the photo here compared to, example, the same images which have been converted into a GIF. All right. Let's bring it up. Zoom in, Emma. No, I can't zoom again. Right, so that's the same thing. I used an online converter to convert it into a GIF. The motion is a bit more blocky, and while it's easier to load a GIF on your website, if you're loading lots of images, I'll show you the properties for that, is you have half a meg more for a far lower quality, and you cannot control the GIF, whereas over here, you have images which are controllable. The user can stop exactly where they want, poke around, look there, and of course you can zoom in and out, which you can't do with it. With the GIF, all right. So, this is the plan for us anyway. Okay, so machine is up and running, everything's working. 
probably bring them into work and building the machine. Cheers.